Blackmagic design has grabbed the attention of all independent filmmakers and videographers with its new lineup of cameras, and it's for good reason. The two words that best describe why Blackmagic is making such a splash is affordability and quality. So today I want to show you some images I captured on my first 24 hours with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. I decided to take my camera out during the golden hour to grab some cinematic frames at 6K in a native 400 ISO with Shea, our model. The camera performed really well as expected. Blackmagic has a color science that I prefer over all competitors. An interesting factoid about the Pocket 6K image is if you downscale 6K to 4K, you gain about one stop of noise reduction, which is helpful in situations where you have to push the ISO in low light situations. Speaking of low light, I made a video showcasing how the Pocket 4K performs in low light. To see that video, check the description or click the white box above. My initial take on the design of this camera is positive. It's basically a clone of the Pocket 4K, and I'm a fan of its beefy design and rubberized hand grip. The only noticeable difference is the lens mount and its badass 6K badge it wears just before the EF mount. The front of the camera is noticeably larger than the 4K, but still feels just as light. What I was most excited about is the EF mount and Super 35 sensor. There's no need for additional speed boosters in between the sensor and my lens, which in the lineup of filters I usually use can distort my image. Without the speed booster, I now get a more pure form of an image. Not to forget, the larger sensor size gives more resolution and better DOF. 6K is great, but it does have its ups and downs. Just to name a few positives are better post image stabilization, more flexibility for reframing, and last but not least, a higher resolution. The negatives are more physical storage space, a need for a better computer, processor, graphics card, and faster, larger memory cards or SSD drives. Other noteworthy flaws to point out is the camera's missing B-RAW in some of its resolution sizes, that being 4K, Ultra HD, and HD, leaving you with ProRes instead, which is still a great codec, but it doesn't give you the flexibility of RAW. This was a total bummer, but I can see why Blackmagic made this decision. Overall, I love what Blackmagic is doing, shaking up the industry and putting more pressure on its competition to make better, affordable products for us indie guys to work with. Other than the EF mount, larger sensor and higher resolution, I'm not totally convinced this camera is superior to the Pocket 4K. If I was to choose between the two, I'd go with the Pocket 4K with Metabone Speed Booster to save me some cash. A huge shout out to Blackmagic for its amazing technology. Are you guys interested in the Blackmagic Pocket 6K or 4K cameras? What are your thoughts on the images you saw in this video? Thanks to all my supporters who sub to this channel and please hit that like button. I appreciate all you guys. Till next time we meet, go film, have fun, make killer visuals. Jason Goldwolf, signing out.